Hey guys, it's your boy SV Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, please like the video, share the video, and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, guys. Okay, so without any further ado, in this video today, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna flash BIOS onto your motherboard. I have a Gigabyte motherboard, which is X670E Aorus Master, Gigabyte Aorus Master, and uh, it is revision 1.x, that means 1.1. You, so you wanna go to your manufacturer website, then you wanna find the product name, all right? And you wanna go to the support page. You wanna choose which OS, Windows 10 or Windows 11. So then you wanna click BIOS. So as you can see guys, um, the latest BIOS right now is F32A, all right? So as you can see, this is small letter. These small letters, A, B, C, D, whatever they are considered as a beta BIOS, okay? It's not the most stable BIOS, but it's it's considered as beta, all right? So all these, uh, as you can see, Gigabyte is, isn't releasing any new uh, any new features for Ryzen 7000 series, but all the uh, current beta version BIOS, they are fully optimized for Ryzen 8000 series and Ryzen 9000 series as you can see right here it, Ryzen 9000 CPU perf performance optimized and right here we have another one if you don't want to install the beta version if you choose to install this one this one is a work in progress okay it's not that stable it is for quad SLI motherboard and as you can see it says update AMD H1.2 dot zero dot zero a for amd and prp motherboard so what are M and prp motherboard so it is considered as and prp stands for okay new product review program and uh, they are considered as a work in progress motherboard but if you want a stable version you know, you might want to give f30 a try okay just grab the f30 and now according to reddit okay i've seen a lot of posts on reddit people are going back to f13 bios because they consider this version f13 the the most most stable very stable f13 or f12 all right i'm gonna give this one a try the f32a and yeah of course even if you're facing issues guys let's face it if you install the latest version and you're facing issues you will always be welcome to downgrade the bios to the previous version all right so i'm gonna click download i'm gonna just click download all right so what you need to do is to insert a usb flash drive okay and format it as a usb pen drive flash drive whatever you want to call it format it in the uh, fat32 the file system might uh, must be fat32 not ntfs okay and uh, you must extract the bios onto the root okay in the root as you can see right here this folder is empty and then what you want to do you want to grab this as you can see some other board name and dot f32 a which means the BIOS version so you want to drag this and drop it on the root of the USB guys okay on the root of the USB hi guys so this is a PC right right over there okay um, and you are ready okay let's do this so I'm gonna right click on this reboot to BIOS shortcut run as administrator and I'm gonna hit yes you're about to sign out and then boom restarting okay so as you can see my keyboard right here i do not have to spam on the delete key or the delete button on the f12 button i don't have to spam anything okay it will take you to bios immediately directly to bios straight to bios okay boom all right from here as you can see down here you can see q flash q flash is a uh, is a F8 correspond button okay so if you press the F8 button it should take you to Q flash that means you're about to flash the system bias all right so I'm gonna press F8 and here's my current flash 
okay next what you want to do you want to click this right here click you want to select this one okay it must be selected the f30ua right here and then all you want to do is click this button then it's gonna ask you this but it's protected by secure flash just click yes okay as soon as you click yes this thing will verify and you can manually click on reboot right here Okay hey guys, so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. So we are currently using BIOS F32A.